the more excellent way. The more of God's anointing you want to flow in, the more humble you must be. Because He gives His grace. The Bible says He gives more grace. That grace, He gives it to the humble. You want more grace? You have to be more humble. Then some of you are pastor's wives. I have a message for you too. Yeah, because some of you are the, the, the first to resist your husband. Because you are his wife. That means you don't also know the anointing of God's spirit. You can oppose him in the meeting. You're all in the meeting. You don't like, you don't, you don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. You don't agree. You must show it there. You have to be very careful. You have to be very, very careful. If you don't respect him because he's your... Do you know the meaning of husband? No, I think some of you don't know. You think husband means the male, the male partner in a marriage. No, I think that's what you think, some of you. You think husband means the male partner in a marriage. Husband does not mean the male partner in a marriage. Husband means master. That's what it means. Not the male partner in a marriage. No, but that's the, you know, that's the reason there are problems among Christians in their marriage. I mean, the, the marriage in Christianity for most people is just a flop. Why? Because they don't agree with God's definitions. They have theirs. They say we are... They believe they're equal partners. A lot of times, listen to two people that have just gotten married. A lot of times, it's the woman that speaks first. You see, I just thank the Lord for my husband. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you want to live according to the Bible, according to the scriptures, then understand what the word says. The reason God made woman was because of man. He made the woman because of the man. That's why he made the woman. So woman was not his original idea. <laughs> Listen, this is reality. Okay, all right, scripture. Let's talk about, let's say what the Bible says. Now listen, when God had made everything and then he made Adam, the Bible says everything was very good. Already, everything was very good. No problem. Then he got Adam. Listen. Okay. Now be quiet. Uh, let me tell you something. If most women had their father bold enough to talk to them, they would be very successful in their marriage and they would be very happy people. Most women have never been taught by their parents, their fathers particularly. That's their biggest problem. They don't know who a man is.